Let's get to that red alert for Friday. The storms will be moving into the area, but for today, it's a pretty nice one. Let's get over to Alicia's that first alert forecast. Feels good. It does. I mean, the temperatures are warming up. I mean, it's still not quite sunny, but we anticipate that it will be mostly sunny in just a couple of hours. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how we're doing out there. We do still have lots of clouds and some fog. Yes, yes, part of those buildings. It looks like they are not there, but being obscured by the clouds. So we're looking at 45 degrees right now in Central Park. Winds out of the west at 6 miles an hour. Take a look. Temperatures range from the low 40s to the low 50s because we are at 51 degrees for Tom's River. And this is one of the locations that could make it to about 60 degrees today. For New York City, 57 is the forecast high. So obviously, if we hit that, it will you know, definitely be the warmest day of the work week. We're looking at uh, what will, should be a very mild afternoon for us. And then temperatures uh, slightly below normal for Friday and Saturday with the approach and the passage of the next storm. So here was this morning's rain, right? The rain itself has pretty much moved offshore. We're left with the clouds and a little bit of fog, but little by little it's clearing, right? Because our, our northern suburbs have cleared so slowly. We're watching the clouds exit along with this area of low pressure. So we will actually see clearer skies as we head through the afternoon. At the same time, we are watching the next area of low pressure. We're watching this one. This one will move in tomorrow. And so tomorrow afternoon will be on red alert through early Saturday morning. What will start off as snow changes over to sleet and then rain, heavy rain for New York City, and it will produce some gusty winds as well. So this is what you can expect as far as accumulation because there is snow with this system. There is sleet. Everything you see here in gray, little to no accumulation, right? And then beyond that, a coating to three inches beyond that three to six. And it really is only the northernmost portion of our northern counties that actually stay uh, with the majority snow. For the rest of us, you can see we get some rain, but quite a bit of rain, right? Greenwich could pick up 1.3 inches, New York City 1.2, Tom's River 1.3. So it is looking like a significant rain event. So we go through this afternoon, we do get some clearing. We'll, we'll eventually see some sunshine out there as the temperatures warm up. The first half of your Friday will be dry, although we will start to see increasing clouds. And then by 4 o'clock, looks like the snow moves in. And so it does look to start out as a snow event. And then we start to see some snow mixing with sleet. But look how quickly that changes changes over to rain. In just a few hours, we go from snow and sleet to rain to very heavy rain on Friday night. Could see some thunderstorms embedded with that as well. And then on the back end of this, uh, this probably departs as snow showers early on Saturday. By Saturday afternoon, though, things dry out, so that is helpful. Today, we get some drying and some clearing later today, 57 degrees. The forecast high will be breezy, though, this afternoon. And then tomorrow, 43 degrees, so big drop in temperatures as we await that system that again moves in, Mary tomorrow afternoon. All right, to make the most of today then, I guess. Elise, thank you so much.